it's not even just about money. Um, that's why I deliberately don't check views and likes and all that kind of stuff is you don't want that dopamine of like, um, of pulling you in. I have to do the thing that gets more and more attention or um, more and more like, yeah, like money and, uh, yeah, it's it, so it, wise. It, yeah, it, agreed. It, it it's a huge negative hit on your um on your ability to do creative work. Can can I ask you about that? Because I always yeah. I'm always interested in this. Um, I completely agree. I think it's funny because when you abstract yourself out to the people you admire and respect, who inspired you to do the creative work you do, you never think about like the views they were getting or the money they were making or the influence they had, all you ever think about is the work itself. Mm -hmm. And it's funny when a lot of people get in this position, your temptation is to focus on that, which you can measure, which is like all the stuff you said, like the likes, the view, that's not actually the target or what you got into it for. If you get into it for like, cause you're inspired or whatever, your goal is inspiration, it's impact. And like that can't be quantified that same way. So it's interesting. You have to find a way as a creator of any of this stuff to like deliberately detach yourself from the measurable mm -hmm. and focus on this thing, which is kind of abstract. And I was wondering if you have any like ideas for that. So one, yeah, there's a bunch of ideas. So one is uh, figure out ways where you don't see the number of views on things. How do you do that? So I have, a, I wrote a Chrome extension for myself that hides the number of views. Um, That's really funny. That, I, no, what's funny is I for have- For me. Because it's useful for other people's right? content. Right, oh my gosh, that's for, I'm gonna need to borrow this. That was my problem. I <laughs> yeah. actually have some Chrome extensions for, like I don't like going down like recommendation rabbit holes when I'm at work. Mm -hmm. I just wanna like search for a video, find it. I don't wanna see like all the up next because I'll the waste time. So I use Chrome extensions for that, but the views is a problem because it's relevant to me as a creator. Like, is this a big video? Is it a- Yeah, like, which is why I really hurt when they remove like likes and dislikes because yeah. I want to know for what tutorials and so on. Uh, what's, I mean, that's probably really useful for you, the dislikes, yeah. Yeah, do you have that? Do you ever do, ever considered making that Chrome extension public? Sh sure, yeah, actually, yeah. And there would be a good philosophy behind it, right? Like don't, if you're a creator- I really like it, I love the idea. I've, I've yeah. wanted this thing before. I don't know if it necessarily sure. exists. Because <laughs> I don't think I've made a, a Chrome extension public. That'd be cool. I, I would love to see- yeah, I would go to that process of adding it to the, because uh, I love like open sourcing stuff. So yeah, I'll go add it to the Chrome extension, like the the store. Yeah, because I, yeah, I totally have, I've, awesome. I've hated this for like a long time. YouTube made a change and they just continue to make the analytics front and center, which makes sense from their perspective. They're trying to give people better data on what is successful and what makes something successful. They're trying to train their creators. But in the process, it can lead to some unhealthy habits of thinking views define a video. And so I've long thought, okay, I've learned analytics. I understand retention. Now I sort of want to do like the Zen, like forget it all. Mm -hmm. And you the, can only do that if it's out of your sight. Depends how many friends you have who are creatives. The other really important thing, and I found this, this has nothing to do with creatives, but uh, people I respect very much in my life, some of them people would know that they could be famous they will come to me and say, they will comment on how popular a video was on YouTube. They will sort of compliment- The success. The, the, the success defined by the popularity. Correct. Even for a podcast where most of the, the listenership is not on YouTube mm -hmm. or in Spotify now is getting crazy. The They will still compliment the YouTube number. So one of the deliberate things I do is I either, depending if it's a close friend, I'll get offended and made fun of them for that and to sort of signal to them, this is not the right want, thing. Yeah. I don't want that. And uh, for people more like strangers that compliment that kind of stuff, I show zero interest. I don't receive the compliment well. And I focus on the aspects of the compliment that have to do with like, what, what do they find interesting? Like, you know, I, I kind of make them uh, reveal to them that you shouldn't care about the number, the number of views. It is strange. There's like this weird hypnotism that happens once you get past a certain number, and that number is some approximation. It's like it's always like hard numbers. It's like a hundred thousand, a million, ten million. People just see a number and they just go like, "Wow, that is," and they assign a quality to it that may not like it. Usually means nothing at all.